Lord God, for you for giving us your son, for giving us your word to live by that teaches us how to do everything according to your will, Lord God. We just ask, Lord God, that you come into this place and that you saturate it with your goodness and that we all be filled with your Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name I pray.
you what you did. But I'm so glad that you did. And what even about being on the cross? Because you woke you up in your right mind. You could have been somewhere lost in this spot. I could do nothing but this morning. But I said, Lord, I show you thank you. I show you thank you. Lord, I show you thank you. Lord, I show you. Come on, open up your mouth. This is your moment. This is your time. This is your hour. Listen, Lord. Those who will hear the word today and those who will hear the word five years from now. 
Let this word resonate with their soul and let their lives be changed. This is my prayer, dear Father God. And when the word is gone forth, let your spirit remain so that your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, let the house say amen. you take your seat, repeat the subject after me. Soul, soul, food, food, soul, food. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give the minstrels a hand clap of love, hallelujah. And give the musicians a hand clap of love as they come forth as well. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The, 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 I hear buzzing. What's the buzzing? Hallelujah. Give it the buzzing for me. Uh, the, the, the political season has begun and it became hot, 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 and ain't really got going. And it's hot. You know, Fordham County is hot. All these things are hot. There's separation of church and state, so I ain't supposed to be saying nothing, so I won't say nothing. <laughs> but you know, politicians and prophets got a lot in common. Come on now. You, you know, the politicians, you either like them. Oh yeah, I don't like them. Right, 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 right. The prophet, you either like them, yeah, or you don't like them. Uh -huh. You agree with what one says, and you disagree with what another one says. True. They got a lot in common. Well, when the politician is saying, "I'm gonna decrease your taxes," and "I'm gonna uh, raise up uh, your 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 standard of living in your household," and, and I'm gonna pass these wonderful laws, we love them. But when they say they're going to reduce and get rid of Social Security, mm. uh, when, when they pass these unfair laws, we don't like them so much. Yeah, so much. Same way with the profit. We are. When we're telling them we're going to get money and clothes and houses and cars and man and woman, we love them to death. Well, Come on now. But when they talk like John the Baptist and say, repent, yeah. for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, we call them messy. Yeah. <laughs> He in my business, hallelujah. We don't want to hear that. We either love him or we hate him. And that's the case with the prophet Isaiah. Yes. The book of Isaiah is 66 chapters. We call it the mini Bible. It's the mini, mini Bible because the word of God has 66 books in it. And, and, and they loved to hate the prophet Isaiah. For, for, for half of his books, 1 to 36, he just tell them about God's judgment. He's telling them about their condemnation. And they tell them, he's telling them about how they have upset our God. That's right. and, and then he has to come back and <laughs> encourage them uh, through 1 through 40, through the rest of the book, 66. He, he gives them encouragement to help them to go the rest of the way. So, so one half of the book, he, he tell them about themselves. And they don't like him much. And then the other half, he said, let me go ahead and prophesy mm -hmm. to him. You see, Isaiah was a prophet. We are all called to prophesy. Yeah. The word of God in 1 Corinthians 14, chapter the third verse says, we are all believers are called to encourage, to edify, to build up one another. We're all called to prophesy but everybody ain't going to have to walk in the office of the prophet. Come on, man. Because that office is a hard office. That office, you're going to have to walk that one alone. Yeah. That one, you're going to have to have your eyes hard and split because they ain't going to like you. You got to look at the back of the room when you preach because if you look at the front of the faces, you're going to get distracted. You got to keep your eye on the prize because the office of the prophet is a whole bunch of different stuff. Yeah. That's right. So, we're in 55. And, and like I said, when we get to 40, he, he changes his tone a little bit. Uh -huh. And we tend to gravitate to the other half of the books. We tend to gravitate to Isaiah 53 and 5 when our body is wrapped with pain and we want to yeah. remember that he was wounded yeah. for our transgressions. Yeah. He was bruised for our iniquities. Yeah. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we were healed. We're going to say that a whole lot this month because this is our month to remember who he was. He was taken as a lamb to the slaughter and he opened out his mouth. Isaiah 53. Yeah. 
And you see, I tend to gravitate to Isaiah 54. Because you see, I'm, I'm a, what they call an anomaly. They think I'm crazy most of the time because I say what God said and I walk the walk he walks. So I have to go to Isaiah 53 sometimes and says, oh, sing, oh, barren woman. I'm not going to make you ashamed. So keep on saying what I say. Don't worry about it. I'm going to be your husband. I'm going to be there. Um, I gravitate to 54. Because mm -hmm. I need the word to prophesy to me sometime and keep me encouraged. Yes. But he didn't give me 53, 54. He gave me Isaiah 55 mm. to chew on. Mm. And it was some hard chewing for these last two weeks. Because yeah. mm. you see, I was chewing on it, but I wasn't understanding it. Yeah. I was trying to understand it with my flesh. He said things like, go buy milk and go buy wine without money. I'm like, okay, let's see here. He was talking about Jesus in 53, 700 years before Jesus got here. So maybe he's talking about the American Express card, don't you want without it. You know, maybe he's talking about my debit card, maybe. Maybe I was in my flesh when I was trying to interpret that thing. So the Holy Spirit said, that's enough for that, Yvonne. Let's get into the spirit. Because my word is spirit and it is life. It ain't flesh. So let's get in the spirit. And when I got in the spirit, my word, my eyes started to gravitate on certain words. Uh -huh. Like my, my eyes gravitated on Isaiah 55 and 2. Let your soul delight itself in fatness. Uh -huh. it, it gravitated on Isaiah 55 and 3 that says, and your soul shall live. Mm -hmm. yes. when, he, when he's talking about milk and meat and wine, he ain't talking about satisfying my flesh. Amen. Isaiah 53 and 5 is an invitation to get intimate with Jesus. Isaiah 55 and 1 is an invitation to get intimate with Jesus. Amen. Where do you get that from, Pastor? Let me tell you how he told me to tell you. Let, let me read. Let, put, put your eyes on Isaiah 55 and 1 if you can. And I'm going to read it the way he said. Ho, 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 ho. Everyone that is thirsty. thirsty come on. Everyone that is broken and needs healing. Yeah. If you're an atheist or an agnostic and you need someone to believe in, if you're lonely and need a friend, if you're sick and need a healer, well, if you're lost in a world of your own sin and need a savior, if you're hungry and need to be fed, ooh, here's your invitation to get intimate with me. He says, come ye to the water. Come ye to the water. He said, John, give him John 7, 37 and 9. On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living waters. But in this he spoke not concerning the Spirit, but the Holy Spirit that he would give. He says, I'm if you're thirsty, I got some living water for you. Yes. Oh, yes. It's called the Holy Spirit. Yes. He says, I'm going to yes. feel Ooh. him in your belly. Yes. He says, I'm going to pull my spirit. When you say I do, yes. when you come into relationship with me, when you accept my invitation to commune with me, I'm going to pull my spirit in you. Uh, Acts 3 and 2 and 38. If you repent, be baptized, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. He says, I'm going to give it to you first by measure. I'm going to give you what that cup you can hold. He said, but if you take my invitation and you learn of me and you walk with me, he says, I'm going to take that cup and I'm going to pour and I'm going to pour and I'm going to pour and I'm going to pour. He said, but one day you're going to be overflowing. One day you ain't going to just be talking with me. One day you're going to feel me. One day you're going to commune with me. One day we're going to be having a two-way conversation. Right. One day you're going to hear my mouth, my eye, my mouth, when I walk through the mall. One day 
you going to know it's me. One day you're going to lay hands on the sick and they're going to get healed. Uh, one day you're going to change, start talking, and you're going to go baba, 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 baba. He said, when those things happen, you're going to know that you got more than a cup. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you're thirsty, mm -hmm. she prayed this morning. She says, I want an encounter yes. with God. Yes. Yolanda said, I came in here thirsty. Yes. I want an encounter with God. He says, if you want an encounter with me, just get intimate with me. Oh, yeah. Yes. And I will fill you. Thank you, Lord. To the overflow. Yes. The word says, be ye filled. Yes. Which means don't get satisfied with what that you got on Sunday. He said you gotta start all over again on Monday. You gotta start all over again on two. Be is an active verb. If you get satisfied with that last encounter, you're gonna get stale. If you get satisfied with that last miracle, you're gonna get stale. If you get satisfied with that last healing, you're gonna get stale. If you're gonna get satisfied with that last revelation word, you're gonna about the storm in the horizon. Mm -hmm. But I looked up 
And out of that storm cloud came a rainbow. Wow. Wow. I say, Lord, yeah. even in the midst of a storm, oh, you yeah. send me a sign. Yeah. He said, that communion cup is a sign that I got you. Yeah. He said, that communion cup is a sign of every promise that I made. Yes. I gave my blood so that you might live. He said, that communion cup, every time you take it, remember what I said in the word. I will not leave you or forsake you. That blood is a sign that we got a bond going on. We didn't put finger to finger and blood to blood like, like Jonathan and David did, but I gave my blood on the cross and every time you take it, it's a sign well, of my promises. Amen, amen. I will never leave you or forsake you. <laughs> Whatever so you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Oh, yes. I go and I prepare a place for you so that where I go you will be also. Every time you take that communion cup, it's a sign yes. that you accepted my invitation. Yes. But you gotta go deeper. <laughs> yes. But you gotta go deeper. The wine. The milk. He said, the milk is where you gotta go deeper. Mm. Mm. Okay. He said, the little bitty babies need milk for nourishment. Yes. They need milk for sustenance. Yeah. He says, I said give you by milk. And I didn't say meat. Mm -hmm. All right. He said, because I need you to come to me right where you are. Yes, thank you. He says, I don't need you to be mature yes. and no Genesis to Revelation before you take my invitation. Uh -huh. He says, all I need you to do is to know my name. Yes. And that, that's all I need you to know. He says, I need you to know my name and know that I died for you. Yes. No, 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 that I love you. He said, just start right where you are. Yes, sir. You ain't got to be much. Well, yes. He said, because remember that water I told you about? Uh -huh. The more you commune with me, the more you hang out with me, the more you talk to me, the yes. more you worship with me, yes. the more you love with me, the more you sing to me, the more you serve to me, then everything before you know it, I'm going to turn that meat into a little bit of oatmeal. <laughs> you got a little bit more power. I, I take that meat and I turn it into that milk and meat oatmeal to turn into a little bit of fried chicken. Yeah. You got a little bit more substance to you. And before you know it, we done got your, your mouth fixed so when you can handle this stuff that Pastor be talking about sometimes she be doing steak. But wherever you at, yes. Yes. Amen. that's why I want you to come. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I yes. got to get rid of all my sins before I come and say get saved. No, 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 no. I, I, I got to stop. Sending, lying, fornicating, stealing, doping, drugging, drinking. I, I got to clean up and then I'm coming to the Lord. He say, come right where you are. Yes. Oh, yes. And I got something that's going to wash all that stuff away. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I got some water that I'm going to pour into you. And, and, and I'm going to keep on pouring. And, and I'm going to pour. I'm going to pour. Yeah, God. So he says, accept my invitation. Yes. He's given the invitation. But he, Pastor, how I'm going to accept the invitation? He says, it's right there in the Word. She's going to read it real quick and we're going to keep it moving. Isaiah 55, 6 and 7. Isaiah 55, 6 and 7. He says, this is what I need you to do. He says, I need you to get out of your flesh food uh -huh. <laughs> and get into some soul food. All right. Come on. I, I need you to stop chewing on the world. Well. And I need you to start chewing on something that's going to sustain your soul, not just here on earth, but in eternity. Yes. He says, I will give you manifold more in this life. I will give you more than you could even imagine or think in this life. And then he puts a conjunction in there. He says, and life eternal. 
Yeah. Mm. He right. says, I just need to do these two things. Like two things. Well, two right here. It says six, 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Mm -hmm. yeah. Call upon him while he is near. Yeah. Seek me. And the seventh thing is where them prophets get in trouble. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon you. Thank you. Yes. 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 Thank you. you see, accept my invitation and seek me. Yes. And stop your mess. Stop playing me for stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he said, because I do see all, I do know all. I am a gracious God, I'm a forgiving God, but I do see your ways. Well, yeah. He said, and then it's your ways that kind of blocking me from that pour. You know, because I want to pour, and I want to pour, and I want to pour. Uh -huh. But every time I keep wanting to try to pour, you go do something that makes me say, oh, oh, she just ain't ready yet. He says, yes, I am omnipresent and omnipotent. Right. I can just pour all I want. Yeah. He said, but I give you free will. <laughs> so you can choose to accept my invitation to come close, or you can just stand still and wait and see if I pull without your help. Yeah. yeah. I can do that too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He says, but this is what I need you to do. I need you to stop the flesh food. He says it right there in Isaiah 55 and 2. Listen to what he says one more time. He said, because you're getting stuck on the flesh, and I'm almost done. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? And you labor for that which does not satisfy you. Hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good. Why do you keep working and working and working for stuff? Well, and you ain't worried about your eternal soul. God, come on now. Why do you keep, 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 keep trying to please people? And you ain't paying no attention to me. Uh -huh. Why do you keep? No, I, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say it the way hey God said it, because He said it so, 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 so eloquently. You can write it down and read it when you get home. Hey God, one and hey God, one and six. You have so much and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe you but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into bags with holes. He said, you eat the diet of flesh. You eat the diet of the world. He said, come out of the world and come sup with me. Come sup on my soul food. Musicians come up, because I just got one more scripture and I'm done. He says, I want to extend to you my invitation uh -huh. to come dine with me. Yeah. <laughs> come feast at my table. Yes. Okay. How does the song go? Come dine at my royal table. He says, believe in this scripture, Yvonne, and, and read it when you get home. It actually is one of my favorite scriptures. 3 John 2nd verse. There is another chapter of the morning, John, 3 John. 3 John 2nd verse. And it says, Beloveds, you are his beloved. You've said yes at some season in your life. And you became his beloved. Beloved, I wish above all things oh, yes. that you may as prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Yes. Yes. That's good. This is what he's saying. I'm going to read it the way he said it. Let me read the scripture one more time, then I'm going to read the way he said it. I wish above all things mm -hmm. that you may as prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. He said the world's food, lust of the flesh, 
lust of the eyes, and pride of life, offers you vanity for a day. But my soul food offers you knowledge, understanding, and all the wisdom you need to get metaphor more and more in this present time and in the world to come, life everlasting. He says, stop looking to the world for what they can't give. He says, if you would take my yoke and read my word, I will tell you how to heal your flesh. If you will take my hand, read my word, I will tell you how to get your credit score right. If you take my yoke and read my word, I will tell you how to get your relationship right. Man, man, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 